I like new, interesting things that people haven't seen before. I like having that privilege of looking at something for the first time. I always had some characteristics that I think are good for a scientist to have. As a kid, I used to spend a lot of time collecting things and just uh, looking at them or sorting them or examining them. Genes are basic units within the genome that encode proteins and RNA. Genes are also a very good way to classify cells. The problem is the techniques for actually examining many genes at the same time, at the single cell level. It just wasn't feasible until very recently. This happened to be, I think, the right moment, and we went for it. We looked at about 1,700 single cells from a very well-defined area in the cortex. We took the information about the gene expression for every single cell we analyzed. And then we asked, for example, do I find 100 genes that always appear together in a subset of cells? And actually, we do find those. So what we did is what's called a dimensionality reduction, meaning you take all the genes that behave in a similar way in your data set, and you group them into a single group. Then you ask, how do your cells look with respect to those group genes? Cell type, I don't think the definition truly exists. I think the definition will keep evolving, and ultimately, what we would want it to be is to encompass function, but also all these other aspects that together will make an integrated cellular phenotype or cellular type, where we can combine physiology, morphology, transcriptomics, and function together and say, hey, all these things together agree, and they also help us understand together how this neuron functions the way it does.